The school year now in full swing. The bus driver shortage is being felt yet again in Lee County. Parents tell Wink News the buses are either showing up late or in some cases not at all. We're two days in and one father told us the bus has failed to pick his son up both days in a row. So now he's demanding answers and accountability. I'm going to have to be the loud dad that gets something going. So I'm going to be the loud dad. You know, somebody has to stand up and say someone else needs to be accountable for this because you can't just say, oh, that's just the way it is. The Lee County School District made changes to prevent these exact issues, but parents and students, for that matter, say they haven't seen any progress. When we asked the district, they told us they're keeping an eye on how the bus schedule is working to see if more changes are needed. New tonight, a man and his wife want to make sure that kids have a safe place to wait for the bus in Lehigh Acres. They're working around the clock to mow overgrown grass at bus stops out of the goodness of their own hearts. The transformation really like night and day. The Night Beats Maddie Heron joins us now live from Lehigh Acres. Maddie, you spoke with the couple. What inspired them to start this project? The couple told me they have kids of their own and they just want to see others safe. With a busy road like the one behind me, a child standing on the side with no sidewalk can be pretty dangerous. So clearing these high grasses, it may be out of pocket, but the couple tells me it's for the greater good. Kenneth McMillan is no stranger to yard work. In his latest project, High Grass and Debris are about to be schooled. I started looking and seeing some of these bus stops that, you know, could use a little help. McMillan clears the stops for free, all for the safety of students. It's not very safe for the kids to be close to the road with walking through water or through the sticks and trees. Take a look at the busy intersection behind me. There's cars whipping by every moment. For many kids in this Lehigh Acres neighborhood, it's their bus stop. We moved here and found out where the bus stop was. It was, we got a lot of anxiety. Anxiety for parents and kids alike. We have to wait around the corner and not save because there's traffic all around us and someone can get ran over. This corner, the intersection of Hightower Ave and Leonard Boulevard South, just one of the many bus stops on McMillan's list. Equipped with mowers and weed whackers, he started another bus stop makeover just in time for the school bus to flood the streets with children Tuesday afternoon. McMillan's wife, Lisa, said their family's good deed all started with a Facebook post. A mom had messaged me that day and said, hey, my kid was actually standing in the street because we couldn't go near the picnic bench. It was covered in weeds, so we ended up going there and doing that, and it was, it was a lot of work, but we did it. Work that does not go unnoticed by other parents in the community. But I think it's more, you know, the school's responsibility, but it's definitely a blessing for us because you could see how it is. So why should a parent have to be in charge of cleaning up these bus stops in the first place? Well, I reached out to Lee County Public Schools and they told me since they don't own the land these bus stops are on, it's not their responsibility. I've also reached out to Lee County. We'll see if they have any answers for us coming up. On the Nightbeat, Maddie Heron, Wink News.